So what is up with Ruger? I don't know. A couple of weeks ago they put out that announcement that they were a million guns behind and they wouldn't be taking any new orders. Then they released the little green LCR and this thing. So I had to go out and get one. Let's take a look at it. First off, it's in the, about the weirdest gun box I've seen in a long time. But it is Ruger, obviously. Now, uh, these just are hitting the market about 380 out the door. But I thought it was worth it. I've been looking for an excuse to get a new 1022. Anyway, uh, kind of a lightweight one. My other 1022 is kind of all gooped up with accessories and stuff. So uh, this was definitely the straw that broke that camel's back. And I jumped to the, at the chance of being able to get one of the first ones. I'm real happy with it. So let's take a look. Like I say, it's in a kind of an odd box, but that's because it's a, kind of a unique gun. comes in this pouch or case, which is cool. It's a nice selling point. As soon as I picked it up, I knew it was made in China, which is unfortunate because Ruger is such a big advocate for made in USA. But it's not a bad bag, and it's a great form factor. I really like the size of it. So we'll take a look at the accessories in a bit. On one side, though, you've got your barrel. And they give you a place for two barrels, that's kind of cool. But we got a stainless steel barrel, and we measured it a little bit, it's kind of long, it's like 20 inches or something. So there's plenty of room to uh, cut the front of that barrel off to put some threading on there for a suppressor. And there's the receiver end. And we've got kind of a unique system going there, we'll take a closer look. It's a 1022 though, and with a polymer stock. Breaks down to a pretty small little package there, and it couldn't be easier to go together. Drop it in, give it a little turn, it's locked in. It's ready to shoot. To take it apart, just pull forward. Pull forward on that lever. Couldn't be easier. In, locked. It's good to go. Went ahead and ordered a couple of their new magazines. The uh, BX25s, heard nothing but good reviews on these so far. These are about 25 bucks a pop, so only got couple of these for now but this is the kind of thing that I'll get on every gun show I go to I get them a little cheaper there eventually we'll start seeing some used ones but heck that's a nice little lightweight uh, 30 what is this a 25 round 22 caliber so we're talking like a dollar to shoot this magazine not very expensive to shoot plenty of uh, rifle for out at a camp or backpacking or hiking or whatever fun to shoot if you needed to scare away a critter you could wanted to go hunting for small game you could easily do that too so a little breakdown 22 you can tell right away that it's made in china just from the feel and the sound of the materials which is a shame as much as ruger likes to do things made in the u.s anyway the inside is just opens all the way up Not sure why they give you two Maybe uh, the, we can expect to see a 17 Mach 2 barrel option. That would be awesome. Uh, but otherwise, we've got a place maybe for an optic or a scope or something. I don't know what you'd put in that other side. Unless the uh, receiver will fit in the other side. That'd be great if the receiver fits all on this side. Otherwise, you got this whole big opening here for the receiver and the split in the stock. And, you know, it's, it's not bad, but it's not going to last forever either, especially out here in the Arizona sun. Then you've got a pouch at the top here. And it comes with a scope rail, so we can put a scope on there. We got some sort of massive gun lock. And I'm going to have to take a look at how that works, unless that's a turret for a vehicle. Then we have standard gun lock that we're used to. And then we've got a bottom bag or bottom pouch that's full of Molly. I think that would be about the perfect size for that Amp 3 range medic bag that I have. In there I've got this shoulder strap. Inside of this bottom pouch there's actually pockets for these 25 rounder magazines. Which is nice because then I can have the magazine in there and I guess ideally it's not going to flop all around or twist over. I'm going to be able to get to those mags pretty quick. The top one doesn't have those pockets. So it's a decent bag and I probably will use it for a while. Unfortunately it's not reinforced and some of the stitching seems to be single stitch and because Chinese materials typically wear out quicker I don't think this bag will last me forever but I guess stay tuned in a few months and we'll see how well it's been doing all right so all together you get a nice package with the pack the breakdown 22 that's about 18 inches once it's broken half 
along with these BX25 round mags. Uh, you can't beat it. Nice little all-weather package. You could use this in a vehicle if you're making a bug out bag. A little high capacity 22 is pretty much on everybody's list of uh, must-have items. As long as this one is, turns out to be as reliable as the other 1022s that are out there, yeah, you could do a lot worse than this for just under 400 out the door. Thanks for watching. The guys and gals of GunWebsites.com encourage you to take a CCW class every year, practice at least once a month, and carry every day. Thanks for watching GunWebsites.com.